Welcome back to my channel guys. Today I'm going to show you guys a quick, simple and easy braised oxtail recipe. If you are new here, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell so you don't miss a single recipe from me. All the measurements will be in the description box below. So to begin with, we're going to start off with some oxtail. I've tried to trim off a little bit of the fat. Then I'm going to be adding that into my pot. Please note, I do not use any oil in this process. I'm just going to try and brown my oxtail on both sides. While I'm browning it, I'm going to be seasoning it also with a little bit of salt. You will then turn your oxtail around and brown both sides before you remove it and place it um, aside. So basically, once you're done with the browning process, this is what your oxtail should be looking like. Then we're going to set that off aside. I had to do two batches and while I was preparing um, the second batch, I then decided to move over to my seasonings. So I am um, grinding my own seasonings now. So first of all, I started off with a little bit of rosemary. Then I added some fennel seeds. I then went in with some garlic flakes and then I also added a little bit of cumin seeds. I then um, ground those up into a nice fine powder. Once I was done browning the meat, I'm going to be using the same pan and to that I'm going to be adding some salt, some onions, sorry, and then I'm going to be sautéing my onions um, until they're nice and translucent. I'm also going to be adding some red, yellow and green pepper. So once they start cooking through, you can then go ahead and add seasoning. Um, to the ones that I've powdered, I'm also going to be adding some ground um, ginger, some turmeric, some medium curry powder and also a little bit of paprika I'm going to give that a quick mix and then I'm just going to set that aside just to allow again my onion and peppers to cook through once that has cooked through I then went on ahead and I added some tomatoes I'm just gonna mix them so they evenly distributed and then I'm gonna place a lid and allow that to steam for about five minutes. Once my tomatoes have softened, I added a little bit of beef stock and I'm just going to mix that in. And to that, I'm also going to be adding some tomato paste. I'll give that a quick mix just so I distribute everything and then I'm going to add a little bit of water. So the process we're doing, we're actually trying to build the flavor into the sauce that we're going to cook our oxtail in at the early stages and this is what um, it looks like then you're gonna go on ahead and place your oxtail back in I do have quite a little bit of a small pot here so if you do have a bigger one I would recommend that you use a bigger one just so it's easier for you to mix you're going to then make sure that your oxtail is evenly coated in the sauce that you've just made like this then you're going to proceed to add water um, and then you're going to seal it off with a, a airtight um, lid. Place some foil on mine and basically I'm going to allow this to cook for two to three hours on low medium heat and I'm going to be consistently checking on it and checking on the water level. Restoring the water level when I see that the level is going down. So after about two, three hours, this is what it's looking like. So how you know your oxtail is, is almost done is, first of all, it's going to be falling off the bone. But also secondly, your, your oil will also start to separate. So you can see mine is already starting to have the separation. And this is what it looks like. It was quite juicy and it was really, really quick and easy to make. I hope you do try this recipe and I will see you guys next time. Bye.